Hello, my name is Peter Mingles. First of all, thanks for watching this. We're going to cover Phase 3. Phase 3 is one of our newest products. It's a product that allows you to have five separate websites to be used at any given time for whatever purposes you really want. To log into your Phase 3, there's several ways, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my LMS homepage. I'm going to click on the Quick Login for logging into my Phase 3. I'm going to enter in a username and a password. And when I log in my username and my password, I'm going to come to the administration setting. The admin setting is, of course, where you're going to make your changes. But you'll be able to find what the user sees up on top over here where you can take a look at your Phase 3 templates. Template number 1, you'll see, has a different domain name than template number 2, which is a different domain name than template number 3. So each template with your Phase 3 has a distinct and unique website, followed by your LMS username. As we set up your Phase 3, go to my info, and we've filled all this in for you. So we have your information over here, which you can modify it. And what you can do is you can add a photo on the contact page. Photos can be added right over here. We have five opportunities for you to upload your photos. And these are real simple. Click on Select Photo for photo number one. Browse on your local computer to find it, and simply update the photo. That's pretty simple, and most people know how to do updates or uploads on photos anyway. When we click settings, on settings, this is where you're actually going to be able to determine what you want your website to look like, including the outside wrapping and the content. Let me use a simple example. The website itself, let's call that the content. Those are the words, the pictures, the images that you might have. They're going to be a little bit different based on the look and feel of the template that you might have. So think of a template almost like wrapping paper on a gift box. Your website is like the stuff inside the gift box, and the template actually changes the look and the feel. But the stuff inside the box stays the same. I'm going to use the theme over here called Make Your Own Economy. When I come to the big red button and I click on template number one, I'll be able to select what I want it to look like. If you've already selected a template and you're trying to select it twice, You'll get a little error message that tells you, whoops, please select a different template. You can't have the same template more than once. You've already selected this in this example on template number two. So template number one, we're going to keep it the theme that I have over here, which is one of my favorites called Your Own Economy. This is selected. When I go to settings again, let's go straight to customize template number one. On this specific example. Of course, I use this all the time for demonstration purposes, so you'll see some stuff already in place. You'll be able to change the subject title or the site title, meta tags and keywords. Well, what's this? I'm going to go to a site right now. When I come to the site right now, you'll see as this loads in, right up on the top over here where it says Sunday's presentation, that's called the site title. If I want to change the meta tags and the keywords, I right click, I'll come to view source, and this will show you where it is. Oops, I'm on a different page. Sorry. This will show you where it is. You'll see the site title and the source code, as well as the keywords. In this example, I have Monday as a keyword, and in the description, I have the word Beagles and Monday. Well, coming back over here, on my phase three, you'll see in the site title I have Sunday's presentation and then the word Monday, keywords, and Beagles and Monday in the meta tags. The meta tags and the keywords are going to help with indexing and searching for search engine promotion. Step number two is the capture page. On a capture page, you can have a capture page or not. In this example specifically, we have the capture page off. I'll turn it on during this presentation. We'll scroll down a little bit more, and you'll find buttons. Buttons are the navigation buttons that run across the top of the page. Let me show you what I mean. We'll come over here to preview template number one. And when we preview template number one, you'll see the navigation buttons running across the top over here. We actually allow you to have ten total. The first eight work like regular buttons. You click over here where I have concept number three. And you'll notice I put this over here, concept number three. 
so it uh, associates that with that page just so you can see that when you clicked on concept number four you'll see something over here so when you click on a button you're familiar with this the stuff if you will the content goes below it button number nine and button number ten so don't worry that there's not a ten up here you can have eight and then plus the last two button number nine is a form button number ten is an automatic link. I'm going to close this for a second. I'm going to close this for a second. And I'm going to open it up in phase, for my phase three, in Microsoft Internet Explorer, the 32 bit version. Why will I do that? Because on the 64 bit version, it doesn't play movies. Not us, it, meaning like movies, like YouTube movies, won't play in a 64 bit browser. So I'm going to come back to the 32-bit version. We're going to re-log back in. And we'll go back to status. I was playing with template number one. As you can see, you can scroll down and you can work on any template that you want. Coming back to template number one, we're going to scroll down to that third step. And we have the navigation buttons. If you have a title, a button will appear. So in this example, I'm going to add a button called Four Things. Anytime you want to save a change, save them all by clicking on that little green button. If I scroll down a little further, I can have an exit pop up. What's that? That's going to pop up when people leave. Maybe, and perhaps as a last gasp, attempt for you to be able to capture their information. I mentioned just a little bit earlier, we have eight navigation buttons. As I scroll down to step number five, we have button number nine. This is your contact page. A contact page is a button that's going to be on your website where people can click on it and go fill out a form. So you can title the button whatever you want to. In this example, it says fill out this form. Or maybe just fill out form. So we'll change that. And then you can decide what kind of a form, if any, would you like. Do you want to just display your contact information? Do you want to display your contact information in a simple form? Do you want maybe a longer form? Do you want to include a photo? Do you want a photo in a longer form? Let's use the photo in the simple form for the next example. Scrolling down just a little further, button number 10. On button number 10, this is where we call it an automatic link it'll automatically bring someone to your website, whichever one you have in the join now. For this example, I'll use the example for TED.com. Well, since I made some changes, let's save them. And when I save them all, let's go take a look at what we've done by previewing template number one. If you recall, I showed you where the site title was, that's up on top. We added a button over here called Four Things. I changed fill out the form to fill out form. And I believe when we click on fill out form, we're going to see a photo. We're also going to see, as the photo, my contact information and the simple form. Now you'll notice that I have some other images and videos plus some text up on top over here. That's because I have text associated with button number nine as well. If I did not have text associated with button number 9, which is the fill out form button that I'm describing over here, you wouldn't see this stuff up on top. This next button, button number 10, is your automatic link. And remember, it'll bring automatically to whatever website you've designated. In my example, it'll pop open a new window for TED.com, an interesting site for those people that like to be intellectually stimulated. TED.com, riveting talks by remarkable people to the world. It's worth mentioning because there's some unbelievable information in this that can help you in your life as well as your business. I'm going to close it for a second. Let's come back to the beginning just as a quick review. If you want to change template one, come over here and determine the look and feel. Then click on customize and when you click on customize, you'll be able to change the site title. Let's say for instance we're going to make it Monday. We want to change the keywords or the descriptions. I'll leave it blank for now. Click on Save All to save those changes. 
What if we wanted a capture page? Let's turn one on. You have choices. You can have one with just asking for the first name and the email address, or you can have first name, last name, phone number, and email. For simplicity purposes, let's just use first name and email. Okay, save all. Now let's see how the site's changed. We'll go preview template number one. And you should notice that we have a capture page. This portion over here is called the capture page. You will see, though, there are some changes in the look and the feel. First, there are no buttons running across the top. Why is that? Why, nav why no navigation buttons across the top? Well, most people's philosophies are that I don't want to give you all the information yet until I get yours. That's why they call it a capture page. So someone would figure it out. Four things happen when people fill out the capture page. The first thing is, of course, the person will go inside the website. They'll arrive at button number two. The second thing that will happen is a PM Notify will pop up. The third thing is you'll be sent an email saying that somebody, including their information, filled out the capture information. And the last thing will be is that lead goes into your lead management system. I'm going to click Continue. And you'll notice as soon as we click on Continue, we'll go into the site. Now we're in. We show up on button number two. So when you're doing your capture page, remember, they arrive, they see the content of concept or button number one. And when they come in, they're going to see button number two. And be able to navigate the form. Well, remember, over here is the contact form. That has all the information if you're looking for it. Buy now is that automatic link. And then you can change the content of whatever you choose. Now, on this page specifically, you'll notice that I'm always using this, so it may not look nice, but we're always showing people how you can do different things. Specifically, you can make a font red. You can make them big. You can add images. You can have backgrounds. You can change the color. You can have images or pictures. As I scroll down, you'll see that we have links that will open up into new windows. You can have more pictures. You can have more pictures. You can have links that bring you back to websites, links that bring you to colleges. My son goes to Stetson. YouTube videos. More YouTube videos. You can have a page as long as you like. You're really only limited by your level of creativity and what you'd like to have. You can have whole entire sentences work as links as well. How do you modify or change this, the content of a specific page? Well, as you know, the content of a page is going to be into a button. So I'm going to close here. We're going to go back to administration. And we're on the settings in the customize section. Let's click on one of those buttons. When you click on this blue button that says go edit buttons or sections, you'll see something called a WYSIWYG. This whole thing that you see inside your screen is called a WYSIWYG. It stands for what you see is what you get. It's a computer term or techie term, which kind of represents that You'll be able to make some changes over here using the WYSIWYG portion over here. And more or less, whatever you see is what they're going to see on the web screen. So as you notice, I type in this is bold over here. Let's kind of get rid of some stuff, I suppose, if I wanted to uh, type something else in. We'll start over here. Thanks for watching. So maybe that's where it starts off. Now, as you'll notice, it's in the center of the page, and the reason why it's in the center of the page is because I have this centered. Well, what if I don't want it centered? <coughs> I can left justify it. And you'll notice now it shoots over to the left. What if I wanted it bold? Come over here to do bold. So you have to write what you want to change, and you notice it changed to bold. If you wanted to change the text color, that symbol A is for text color. We'll make it red. So now it's bold and red. If we want to add a background, say we want to make the background, we'll go to the highlighter over here, make the background black maybe. Now you have red and black. And that may look okay or not, but maybe you want it bigger. So we highlight the whole thing that we want to change. We'll make the font size just a little bit bigger. And now you can see it's a little bit bigger. So you'll see that this is why they call it a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. You can clear the contents by clicking on this button. Make something bold after you 
it, italicize, underline. You can left justify, center justify, right justify. You can change the font type. Say, for instance, we want to make it a little bit more fun. Let's go to the comic one. So now it's a little bit more fun looking. You can change the size that we showed you a little bit earlier. You can copy and paste, and you'll see what these are as you highlight over them. You can undo something. We'll undo. You can redo something. We'll redo it. You can add something as a link. Now, this is an interesting one. Say I wanted to take this, thanks for watching, and I wanted to highlight the whole entire thing. And I wanted to make that a clickable link. Go to this little chain link. Left click. Put in the link that you'd like it to go to. Say, for instance, I want this to go to networkly.com, or let's do buildingfortunes.com. I'm going to fix a little spelling error over there. That's the destination of the target URL. And what do you want it to do? I want it to open up in a new window. So I'll open it up in a new window. And then I'll save my changes. And now this is going to be a clickable link. Well, let's stop now. Just take our page. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Save the button. Let's go preview. And now you'll notice as this page opens up. Oh, shoot. Got to fill out the capture page again. And remember, four things happen here. The four things are, I'll go inside the site, I'll get an email, PM notify will pop up, and the lead becomes updated or added to your lead management system. I'll click on continue in a second, but as you notice, there's what we had highlighted and changed. And we'll click on it, and it'll pop open a new page. So there we are, the Building Fortune site. When I click on continue, as we mentioned, those four things will happen again. Let's go back to customize. Let's go to template number one. Let's turn off the capture page. When we turn off the capture page, when we go back, you'll see. And when we preview template number one, we go straight into the website. There are the buttons. I want to just do a little demonstration to show you that if you don't have a title inside a button, nothing will show. So just remember, it goes from concept 1, 2, 3, and 4. And when we go to the admin side, I'm going to get rid of button number 3. So we'll just highlight over it and delete it. And we'll save our changes. Before we save our changes, let's go down to the bottom. But we'll talk about add or banner code. There are three places on the website where you can have ad or banner code. If you have a Google or a Yahoo or any other kind of ad account, you can put your ad code in here and display that and perhaps have people be able to link to outside sites for either your income or for whatever linking purposes you might have. When you put the code in here with the designated dimensions, that will appear. We'll show you this in a second as we put it on the top, the side, and the bottom. Let's go see the changes. Let's go preview that template. And now you remember that we turned off the capture page so you'll see that we're right inside the site. We also took away the name, concept number three, for that button, so that button disappeared. Content is still there, but just the button disappeared. And then we have the ads on the right. I'm sorry. Ads up on the top. Ads down on the right. And also on the bottom as well. Long page. Then, of course, your navigation is still down on the bottom as well, so people can click on whatever buttons. So phase three is a really super simple site to use. What are some of the other things that people have a question on? It might be to add images or movies. Well, over here, this is your WYSIWYG. This icon over here is to add images. This one's for movies. It looks like a film strip. On images, first, you have to have the image somewhere. It has to be on a website. When you click on that, it's going to ask you which website you're going to pull them from. I have some of my images for demonstration purposes stored on a photo bucket site. Photo bucket, P H O T O, bucket, B U C K E T dot com. That's a place where you can go and have, I believe it's up to five photos hosted for free. So I'm going to put my photo bucket 
link to that image right over here. I could describe what I want. I might call it demo image just for this example. And then we'll insert. And wherever you had your cursor, which in this example was right over here, is where it's going to insert that image. You can edit the size of that image by left clicking on it and left clicking and dragging on the squares and resize it. Now, photos are simple. So is movies. Most people like to find their movies from YouTube. So when you click this, it's going to ask you for what the link is. So let's come over here, I think. Let's go to YouTube. I might have it over here. Go find one. www. Guys, some people might be easily offended, and if you ever go to find something that's somewhat offensive, so we're going to come in and try to find something simple like Forrest Gump. And if you find your favorite movie or your favorite video, let's say for instance Forrest, highlight up on the top. To copy. So I right click and copy. I'm going to go to our phase three. I'm going to go to customize. And we're going to go to our button. And then we're going to find out where do we want to put that movie. So say for instance we want to put that movie right over here. We'll keep it right in the center come to our film strip, paste that link, click on dimensions, it'll instantly put the dimensions right over here, then come down to the bottom, insert, and now you'll see how you can insert that movie. Now movies will not play on their own inside the admin. I'm going to resize it just a little bit because it's going to look pretty big. And we'll save our changes. And when we go preview, you'll notice that now, on that first page, we have that movie that when you click on, run. So we showed you how to insert an image. We showed you how to insert a movie. We also showed you how to have ads. And if you want to turn your ads on or off, go to settings. Scrolling down, off, off, and off, and save your settings. It's really that simple. So with phase three, you have five separate templates that you can use, and you're really only limited by your level of creativity. Let's come back to settings. I'll show you one more thing. Let's change the template, the look and feel. You've been looking at this website, which we call Make Your Own Economy during this whole presentation. And when we look at it, you'll see it has a certain look and feel. Let me show you what I mean by you can change the wrapping paper. We'll go to select template number one. And let's find another one. I don't think we've selected it because this one's pretty different. So I went to this one which has a new name. And when we click on it in preview, you'll see the same content, but it looks completely different. So a whole new look and feel by just changing the template. And there's our video that we played before. And there's the link that we used before. So phase three can have different looks and feels, and you change those by selecting the settings. This is a quick little video just to kind of show you some of the basics. It helps if you just have an idea of what you'd want to do um, as you get started, or just use it as a work in progress. But thanks for listening. Join us on any one of our conference calls if you have any questions.